Do you know the difference between Will Smith and other actors? I make this look good. And that's why Smith has been able to essentially pick his roles his entire career, turning down a fresh prince's ransom of parts along the way. So was that like a, a pep talk? The most famous of Smith's passes is Neo in The Matrix, a movie he didn't quite get when it was pitched to him. Of course, Keanu Reeves ended up with the role and the rest is history, at least in one reality. This isn't real. Smith was also offered Superman Returns, but was coming off of playing Jim West in Wild Wild West and said, quote, you can't be messing up white people's heroes in Hollywood. So newcomer Brandon Routh donned the cape. Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Quentin Tarantino wanted Smith for the title character in Django Unchained, but the actor turned it down due to creative differences. Smith was also offered the lead in Phone Booth, a script he loved but felt the villain's story wasn't clear, so he passed, clearing the way for Colin Farrell. Why did you call me? Other parts Smith passed on include Chris Tucker's in Rush Hour, Cuba Gooding Jr.'s in Boys in the Hood, Gary Sinise's in Snake Eyes, Kevin Spacey's in K-Pax, Chris Rock's in Osmosis Jones, and Mark Wahlberg's in The Truth About Charlie, which he declined to make Ali, the biopic that earned Smith an Oscar nomination. Ain't this just a perfect specimen of a man right here? Smith did lose out at least once in his career for Jamie Foxx's part in Dreamgirls. Smith was attached to an earlier version of Mr. and Mrs. Smith paired with Catherine Zeta-Jones, as well as A Star is Born with Jennifer Lopez, but both fell apart, only to come together with different casts. When you're telling this story to your grandkids, you make sure that you leave this part out. Interestingly, one of Smith's most iconic roles, Agent J in the Men in Black movies, was actually offered to two other actors first, Chris O'Donnell and David Schwimmer. Tell your boy Zed I had an absolutely wonderful time, and thank you for everything, but uh, why don't you show me the door? Smith, one of the biggest movie stars of the past two decades, is coming off of Netflix's Bright and will next star as the genie in Disney's live-action Aladdin. Comedian Gabriel Iglesias was also considered for Genie, but director Guy Ritchie felt Smith was the perfect actor to be as good as Robin Williams in the original, but make it his own. Hey, don't hate the player, hate the game. 